Alien 3. Release in 1993, mm. where you play as Ellen Ripley as she fights through levels infested with xenomorphs. It had this kind of like non-linear exploration kind of vibe to it which meant that you, know, you the main thing was just kind of like complete various objectives, rescue the prisoners, destroy the alien nest. But it did have things like, you know, you, you would have the motion tracker. So you knew, you know, where the objectives were and kind of help with, you know, locating nests. The atmospheric elements were very, very cool though. You really did capture the, the kind of alien vibe, which was very cool. It did that really good music and sound design and some of the kind of like 2D lighting in this version of the game to be more action-packed where you do a lot of shooting, a lot of rescue and that kind of thing. Axley, made by the amazing Konami. This is a side-scrolling game. It's pretty much innovative use of horizontal and vertical scrolling, combining the both to really create this kind of fresh action dynamic shooter. It's detailed sprites and backgrounds, which are super high quality work. The other thing is it had a really cool unique weapon system, which you can customize based on the way you pick them up and the way you combine them. But also it had really good variety of levels, like the diverse environments were really cool, but also the memorable boss fights, which are pretty insane. Lastly, really cool atmospheric, fantastic soundtrack, very compelling. Area 88, side-scroller shooter. It's you play one of three pilots, Boom. Shin Kazuma, Bam. Mickey Simon and Greg Bye. Gates were like the distinct players, which had unique abilities to their planes, such as like, you know, special weapons, speed and so on. You know, you had diverse missions and missions had various objectives, but also very heavy story as well, especially fictional Middle Eastern kind of conflict. Again, awesome graphics on this, amazing sprites, but also the soundtrack. Well known for it is that really super energetic, very fast, intense music that fits the kind of shooter genre. This was really well renowned, one of the one of the coolest shooters on the SNES. <laughs> Poppin' Twin B by Konami. It just did everything that was the opposite of what you would see aesthetically and presentation-wise to shoot 'em up, but it still had the same mechanics of a shoot 'em up game. The spaceships are anthropomorphized type characters which have gloves and feet and piloted by these cute anime characters. It had that really whimsical, cartoony aesthetic. Like the colors and everything was like super cute, super cool, very bubblegum pop type colors, upbeat catchy kind of soundtrack which was not usually associated to shoot 'em ups so it had a very light-hearted tone to the game which was awesome it took the shoot 'em up genre and it just spun it on its head and flipped the genre to a point where it kind of coined its own genre by fans called cute 'em up that's right cute 'em up Final Fight for the Super NES is a classic side-scrolling beat-em-up that was actually originally developed by Capcom, who released in 91. Very kind of like mid-80s kind of like storyline there, which is very cool. And it reflects the visuals very much. The soundtrack's got this very nice, cool, jazzy vibe to it, which again reflects mid-80s action type movies. Combat mechanics, you know, the player uses a variety of punches, kicks, throws. Weapons like knives and pipes can also be picked up and used, but you can also lose those weapons when you get hit. Each level ends with a unique boss fight, requiring different strategies to win. Some really cool visual cues, very, very good level design. Definitely a game worth looking out for if you're on the hunt for a retro game that is fun and action-packed. And that's Final Fight.